We got a call yesterday from the Motoguzi importer into South Africa that they had received their first Motoguzi V85 TT Travel, which is the enduro bike for Motoguzi. So we rushed over here to bring you the first look and the uncrating of this awesome bike. And right at the end of the uncrating, we will have a look at the bike, review it and show you all the accessories that are standard to this beautiful model. Having just seen the uncrating of the bike and you saw at the end all the boxes laid out in front of the motorcycle, they were the accessories which come as standard specification for the V85 Travel. Now all these accessories which we'll go through in detail right now are in the Motoguzi accessories catalog and you can spec your V85 standard or V85 evocative to look like the Travel. As you see it before you, it is the Motoguzi V85 Travel, stock standard, full spec, as you see it. In a previous review, we had a look at the Motoguzi V85 Evocative, also known as the V85 Adventure in some countries. And if you look behind me, you will see the V85 Evocative in yellow. Now, just to recap, at the 2017 Eichmann Motor Show, Motoguzi showed the concept of this V85 and shortly thereafter launched it as the V85 base model, then came the V85 evocative, and at the 2019 Eichmann Motor Show, they showed the concept of the enduro bike, which is known as the V85 Travel, and then launched it in 2020. Now let's have a look at how this bike gets its designation. Unlike the other models, this is now not a decal anymore, but a proper badge finished off really nicely with chrome. And what it stands for, the V is the very iconic Motoguzi 90 degree V-twin air-cooled motor in a transverse location. The 85 is the 850cc, more accurately 853. TT is Italian for Tutto Terrano, which means all terrain. And the V85 travels color scheme is known as Sabia Namib, which is Namibian sands. And unfortunately it's overcast today, so I can't show you in the sun, but it's sort of a satin metallic gold beige and a ready orangey bright stripe in here. And the attention to detail is exquisite, how they carried this color scheme right down to the Motoguzi name on the black channels on the wheels, front mudguard, as well as the name on the side of the panniers. Looking at the accessories that are standard with a travel model, starting at the back of the bike, you have your two panniers right and left in plastic with aluminum accents. But what's really cool about them is that your barrels are key alike to your ignition and you get two more barrels should you wish to add a top box. So one key fits the whole bike. Also standard is your touring screen, 60% more protection to the normal screen. Also upgraded TFT with the Motoguzi Mia system, a much higher upgraded interface with your smartphone gives you more functionality. Your heated grips are standard on this bike as well as your LED additional riding lights, which is really cool for enduro riding or riding in adverse conditions. Now, as mentioned before, all these accessories, which are standard on the travel, are available on the Motoguzi accessory catalog, should you wish to upgrade your base model or your evocative. Looking at the V85 specifications, you're running a 19-inch wheel up front, 17 at the rear, clad in all-terrain tires black channels, chrome spokes. You have two 320mm front floating discs with double Brembo calipers. Your disc at the rear is a 260mm. It is a monoshock at the rear giving you 170mm travel. Your dual front fork also gives you 170mm travel up front. What's unique to this bike, it's the only under 1000cc motorcycle to run a final drive as a shaft drive, which is really cool for enduro and all-road terrain riding, no maintenance. You have a six-speed box, dry clutch, 
and as mentioned before, a 850cc air-cooled V-twin in the transverse position, giving you 80 newton meters and 80 horsepower, which is quite amazing. It equates to about 100 horsepower per liter. Your tank capacity is 23 liters, which should give you comfortably 400 kilometers. Your seat, center of gravity low, low slung seat, nice bump stop with a Moto Guzzi logo in on it, true to Italian finishing, two-tone stitching all around, really exquisite build quality. You're sitting up high, wide handlebars, clean clinical cockpit. And you know what? The printed media does not do this bike justice. You have to see it in the flesh, which makes us quite excited for the upcoming V85 Centenario. So remember, if you enjoyed this episode, please click like and subscribe.